I have no idea if we're related or not, but if we're not, I might bang her in a future episode. Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today, we're gonna be kinda doing a rags to riches thing. Um, I'm not gonna be following the challenge to a T, but uh, this is Edward Robertson, so if you guys remember a couple episodes back, Leonard went to the Robertson household and he stole a bunch of crap. So now what this did with Edward, so it set him into a panicked frenzy, knowing that shit was gone, but not knowing how it happened. Uh, it made him act erratically. He uh, yelled at people in the household. They kicked him out. They had enough of his shit. Uh, yelled at people at his job. He got fired. So now he's uh, homeless. He lives right next door to Terry, the empty lot. So with that out of the way, let's hop right on in. We are here at the Dodge residence. I'm pretty sure I saw on the thing that Tyler is at work. And so he's not here right now, but he'll be here shortly. So what we're actually going to do, we do have $8,000. We're going to use that. We're going to buy some seeds. Okay, we bought 10 packets of seeds. And then we also bought 10 things of fireworks too. Now what we're going to do while we're sitting here, we're just chilling, chatting with Stacy, waiting for Tyler to come home. We are going to write a book. And okay, we gotta get that money flowing in so we can move into... I don't know, maybe we can move into Gary's house. I don't know, because, uh... Cause I don't, like, I know Mr. Higginbotham moved in there. But, uh, he's probably, like, he's pretty wealthy. He's probably gonna move into, like, a mansion soon enough. And then that'll free up Gary's house for Mr. Robertson over here to move into. Yeah, I hope you don't mind, Stacey. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna write a book about how I'm homeless in the, uh... The injustices that led me here. Getting my shit stolen. Where is Tyler? Does he get home at 8 or at 9? Well, he's not home, so that answers my question. Mittens just went outside. Edward's newly acquired writing skill will allow him to enjoy the benefits of an expanded vocabulary and grammatically correct sentences. I gotta be honest. He is a pretty good-looking man with his hair like that. I remember thinking he looked kind of dorky. But now, like, he's got the long hair. He's got the beard from being homeless. And I, I, I kind of fucks with it. Where the hell is Tyler? Oh, he's just been standing outside for the past, like, two, three hours. Now he wants to come in and see who the hell this is. Who is this lanky homeless man sitting on my computer desk? Yeah, hey, Tyler, how's it going? I'm writing a book, and it's going to make me lots of money, and I'm going to pay you nothing, even though you allowed me to write it on your computer. He is typing without even touching the keyboard. That's, uh, that's some real talent right there. Writing is magnificent. Edward is striking true literary brilliance. Should he put it in writing that he likes writing? Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Because we're going to have to write a lot of books. What an achievement. Edward finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to his inventory for future reading enjoyment. Mitten shit. Edward can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Okay, we can't publish this. Maybe because it's not our own mailbox. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna publish the shit in our own mailbox. Ah, fuck. Well, let's go self-publish our book. But I just remembered something. We had a bed at Tyler's. We don't have a bed here. We can buy one. But that's not in the homeless spirit, is it? But he has self-published a book. The money will be flowing in soon. At $10,000, I will allow him to buy a bed. All right, we opened a seed packet. Now we got some star, we got mushrooms, we got spinach. We'll put, we'll put, we'll put all the spinach down, fuck it. And we'll put a bunch of mushrooms down too. But we're gonna leave one mushroom to eat now. And then the rest, we'll just eat. Yeah, that's a tasty mushroom, isn't it? Really? Mushrooms are nasty. I'm sorry, I, I had to say it. Alright, we're planting all the vegetables. Soon enough. We'll have shit to eat. Our gardening skill will be good. We'll be able to sell shit, too, for money. <laughs> All right, it's 4 a.m., and he is fucking tired. He also really has to pee. That sucks. All right, yo, Leonard, what's up, dude? Remember me? You're over at my house one time, and then my shit mysteriously vanished. Well, now I'm going to get my revenge on you. I'm going to piss in your toilet and sleep on your bed. Ah, oh, he couldn't make it. He passed out. 
That's actually kind of upsetting because he was so close to the toilet. I have a feeling he's going to wake up and then he's going to piss his pants. Uh, yeah, he's going to wake up. He's going to have bladder failure. Did I call that or did I fucking call that? Now he's standing in a puddle of his own urine. Let's just mop that right up. Nobody saw that. Oh, shit. Holly, you're not coming in here, are you? Yeah, she's coming in here. She's going to put her dishes in the sink. I'm not here to stop her. All right, just stop. Just don't don't get in yet. We got to do some, like, stealth shit. She can't see us. We're just going to walk over here. La -da, da 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 How are you doing? Okay, get... You don't need to be enthused about the toilet. You live here. You've been living here for, like, three years. Maybe if I try to sit down and take a shit, he'll shoo her. I am fine. Um, I got to take a shit, so can you get the fuck out, please? Thank you. Damn, he had a little more left in the tank. That's dedication. Oh, fuck. Here comes little Leonard. Well, he washed the dirt off of him. But he's still stinky. So we gotta fix that. He is one skinny son of a bitch. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> he just... He walked in and he was like, Oh, I don't need to see this. Alright, now it's 8.30 in the morning. You were up all night tending to your garden. Let's go, uh... Go lay down. Hopefully nobody comes in here and tells us this is inappropriate. Please stop. Holy shit! I'm homeless bra made $24. We're off to a pretty good start. Hey, you've got pretty good taste. Will you come to the flea market and help me shop for something to brighten up my place? Fuck it. What else have we got going on today? Water side bar. Okay, so we gotta buy something. You did not realize I have $7,324. Now, hello, JC. I'm gonna tell you an engaging story. Wait, is that like my sister? If I try to bang her, will we be hearing banjo music? Doesn't say, it just says young adult. Share my insecurities with her. We're gonna play the slow game, okay? We're not going to do anything today because we are not in the mood, we're hungry. We're fucking sleepy because she woke us up after only like two hours to go to the flea market. And I am kind of hungry, so maybe I can buy something to eat. Cause hot dogs are only like eight bucks. Okay, I'm gonna get some Bell Puri for 13 bucks. He has a little bit of money left from, you know, when he lived in the big house with everybody. Plus that's from our book money. So, you know, we gotta, we're just keeping the economy going. Give you the money, maybe you give me money later, you buy my book. Okay, he sat down and then immediately decided that he didn't like that seat. Is that Megan Fox? Hey, Megan Fox. I'm gonna give you a friendly introduction. Looks like Edward isn't used to eating spicy food like Bell Puri. With time and practice, he'll be able to eat the spiciest foods around like some kind of spice hound. Oh, is he taking it like a bitch? Well, hey, uh, Megan. So, yeah, what's, uh, what's good? Someone is, like, rocking out. What are they playing? It's like, walk. Who is this? Autumn Johnson. I'm gonna give her a... Funny introduction, and then I'm gonna buy thirty dollars. What kind of bullshit is this? Yo, Megan, can I borrow thirty bucks? Hey, Autumn Johnson. Hey, hey, uh, I want to buy that thirty dollars shit. I can't purchase it because the vendor stepped away. What kind of bullshit is this? Yo, can you get over here, please, so I can buy this shit? Okay, I can't buy anything. She has abandoned her post. Oh, here we go. Now I can buy it. Did that not count? Is this not the flea market? What about this? Can I buy this? I'm gonna fucking lose all the money that I have left. Okay, there we go. That counted. Now we're gonna end the day and I'm gonna go home. I'm sorry, JC. I am down to bang, but just not today. I'm not feeling it. I gotta go home, except not home because I gotta go to Leonard's because he has a bed. And his house is so big that I won't get caught in his bed, unlike Tyler's. Ah. Alright, that was a nice little nap. We feel a little recharged. We're gonna repair this shit that Leonard broke in a jealous fit of rage. We acquired the handiness skill now. Good. Now, oh, we can't break it. Hey, Edward, I think I have a crush on Archer Pinto. Do you think it's worth a try? Oh, fuck. She's supposed to be my boo thing. You know what? I'm gonna tell her to go for it. I still got Megan Fox. Actually, can I call her? I can! JC, it was not meant to be. Besides, I think you might be my sister. I don't know. We're gonna actually write a book about it called I'm Gonna Bang Megan Fox. I met her at the flea market with a boo thing. I knew right then and there I want to make her mine. It's gonna be a bestseller. 
MGK is gonna beef with me. I'm gonna write a bunch of diss songs. And I'm just gonna write a bunch of diss books. It's gonna be great. Leonard's probably wondering why the hell I'm in my PJs. All right, and we just finished another book. We're gonna, after we're, oh, she, oh, fuck. She's mad that I called her while she was sleeping. That's not gonna be good, but it's okay. It's all right. We're gonna go pee, and then we're gonna go sleep, and then in the morning, we're gonna go check out our garden. Active Sims tend to be energized and enjoy exercise. What the fuck do you want? I'm sleeping. You thinking about getting to know Dominic Fires better as a friend? Do you think the two of us should hang out? Fuck it, go for it. I don't care, I'm about to bang Megan Fox. Okay, oh. Can I chat with you now? He looks so unenthused, but he got a little plus sign. We're gonna take a shower, and we're gonna go home and tend to the garden. But we need to take a shower first, because I don't know the next time we're gonna... He just walked right in the shower and walked right out, but I'm almost brought me $22. We also need to self-publish I'm Gonna Bang Megan Fox. Oh shit, we can already harvest our shit? Those mushrooms grew pretty fast, but it looks like the spinach is not ready to go yet. And it looks like all the mushrooms actually aren't ready to go yet. We have 40 fucking mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna eat some. Oh, we're just gonna like live off mushrooms for a little bit. Whoa, did that just grow when I wasn't even looking at it? All right, now we're feeling good. Now we're gonna go travel. We're gonna bring Megan Fox with us if she's interested. We are gonna go back to the Esquire household. We're gonna get to know her a little bit better. Maybe we'll bang her today, maybe not. I don't know. Here we are, 1463 Rich Street. Let's knock on that door. And then we're gonna give Megan Fox a heartfelt compliment because now we're in a pretty good mood. The only thing that's low is the social and that'll go up as we talk to Megan. JC, no. you are fucking cock blocking me right now. Guess what? My day with Archer Pinta went really well. Congratulations. I'm working on my date with Megan Fox. Oh, now he's flirty. Just call me Cupid from hooking up other Sims. Give Edward a bow and arrow. Cupid has competition now. All right, I'm going to use that then. We are going to give Megan Fox a sexy pose. She's definitely into me as a friend. Now, hopefully we can make her into me as a lover. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. Charmer. Charmer, Edward. You're a good looking man. Ah, oh, fuck. She didn't like that. It was too early, and he also learned that she is unflirty. Ah, oh, shit. This is gonna be tough. Who the hell are you? Francis Hurley. Give you a flirty introduction. Maybe, you know, later on, if shit don't work between me and Megan Fox. Ooh. Oh! She was into it. Okay, I'm doing all the shit that I can do without, like, actually flirting. Maybe to get that pink bar up a little bit. Telling her dirty jokes. Uh, I'm giving her relationship advice. Oh, she is not interested. Okay, may maybe we'll just have to come back to this another day. But we'll see how the dirty joke lands. If she liked a dirty joke. All right, let's give her a bro hug. Because I'm about to be not flirty anymore. Hey, shall we? Now let me get to know you as a person. <laughs> oh, he has learned the following traits about <laughs> Megan. She is hot-headed. Okay, and on that note, I think I'm going to actually go... Uh, oh, he wants to make juice on the rocks. So Edward, he... I forgot to mention this earlier. Yeah, he's a bit of an alcoholic now because, you know, the pain of... This man had money, and now he's living on the streets. The pain of it really got to him, so in any way that he possibly can, he's gonna go, uh, drink his sorrows away. Where's Leonard to hit me with the this is inappropriate? They call it juice on the rocks, but you know damn well that's risk- <laughs> Risky. You know damn well that's whiskey on the rocks. Oh, did Megan leave? Ah, uh, shit. You know, I left her alone for like 10 seconds. I love how Leonard just saw me with alcohol in my hand and he just didn't even care. Okay, I've assigned the kitty bed to myself. Ah. It is now... Okay, I, I've claimed the bed once again. It is now mine. So now I officially own it. They can't kick me out. And I can't play on the violin because it's specifically built for children. Okay, Leonard, please. Vamoose. Thank you. I need money, yo. This is six short stories about how I'm homeless and need you to buy this book so I could not be homeless anymore. Lol. I'm gonna write another book before we call it a day. Because uh, I still have not seen, we self-published a Megan Fox book today. So we don't know how much money that's making yet. 
But I would imagine it's probably going to make a little bit more than the first book we wrote. But I feel like this book is probably going to make more money than both of them. Actually, I don't think it will. I think when your writing skill's high, if I want to go over her house and... Fuck it, I'll finish the book over there. Okay, where the hell's the computer in this bitch? Did Leonard steal the computer? This is memories, yo. Remember when I used to live here? Before I lost my job. Also, I feel like Leonard definitely did steal the computer because there is not a single computer in sight. Even though that looks like it would be something a computer would go on. Alright, so we went back to Leonard's house because I want to finish this book before I end the gameplay. JC, she wanted to follow me, so fuck it. Who am I to tell her no? I have no idea if we're related or not, but if we're not, I might bang her in a future episode. But for now, I need money, yo. Also, I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm gonna need to eat some more of those mushrooms. Before I end the gameplay, we will go back to the crib, and I'm gonna tend to my garden as well. Because I think once we have a bunch of mushrooms, we're gonna start selling them too. Oh, hey, JC. Hey, hey, feel free to talk with me while I write this damn book. Hey, if we're still friends, um, I move back in. We're happy because I love writing. Oh, but now he's hungry. So now it that just completely overshadowed the I love writing. All right, when you're done, we're going to eat like nine different mushrooms. It'll be okay. What an achievement. Edward finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to his. All right, that's cool. Um, Now we're going to go eat like a bunch of different mushrooms. Well, he's happy. It's just okay from eating a harvestable. That definitely tasted natural. Could use some more fun. Well, it's mushrooms, dude. Mushrooms are ass. Okay, we're going to go to sleep, and we're going to try to go back to our lot before 10 a.m. so we can publish the book and try and make some royalties before 10 a.m. when the royalties hit. So I think no matter how tired we are, I think we're going to wake up at like 8 a.m. Actually, I think we'll wake up at 7.30 because we got to take a piss as well. I don't know how we gotta take a piss. We've just been living off mushrooms. Um. Now hold up. Hold up. Go pee again, because that shit did not go up at all. There we go. I think that's a glitch, dude. I think when you tell them to go home, they just drop everything they're doing. Like, the bladder shit won't go up. The hygiene shit didn't go up the last time I had them take a shower. I guess that's just a glitch. Doesn't matter. We're going home. Like Drake said, but I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to get copyright claimed. All right, back at the beach. Bye, way. Now let's self-publish. I need money, yo, so we can indeed get some money, yo. Can we harvest the garden whatsoever? I do not believe that we can. Now we're going to sit here. We're going to wait till 10 a.m. Because I want to make some royalties off that. I want to see how much money this books, these books are making. Continue doing those push-ups. You know what? Fuck it. Let's eat some mushrooms. Who the fuck is that? Okay, almost 10 a.m. Are, 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 are you kidding me? I'm gonna bang Megan Fox was a flop? And I need money, I made $6, which is nice. But like, the hell? I poured my heart and soul into that shit. Talked about how happy I was to see Megan Fox. The bullshit. But that is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys. So much for watching. Next week we have a premiere coming your way. I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.